So with that, I'd like to invite on stage Evan Grant, who was one of last year's speakers, who's kindly agreed to help me to demonstrate what we've been able to develop. So the device that you see is a 14-channel high-fidelity EEG acquisition system. It doesn't require any scalp preparation, no conductive gel or paste. It only takes a few minutes to put on and for the signals to settle. It's also wireless, so it gives you the freedom to move around. And uh, compared to the tens of thousands of dollars for a traditional EEG system, this headset only costs a few hundred dollars. Now onto the detection algorithms. So facial expressions, as I mentioned before, and emotional experiences are actually designed to work out of the box with some sensitivity adjustments available for personalization. But with the limited time we have available, I'd like to show you the cognitive suite, which is the ability for you to basically move virtual objects with your mind. Now, Evan is new to this system, so what we have to do first is uh, create a new profile for him. He's obviously not Joanne, so we'll <laughs> add user, uh, Evan. Okay. So the first thing we need to do with the cognitive suite is to start with training a neutral signal. So with neutral, there's nothing in particular that Evan needs to do. He just hangs out, is relaxed. And the idea is to establish a baseline or normal state for his brain, because every brain is different. It takes eight seconds to do this. And now that that's done, we can choose a movement-based action. So, Evan, choose something that you can visualize clearly in your mind. Let's do pull. Okay, so let's choose pull. So the idea here now is that Evan needs to imagine the object coming forward into the screen, and there's a progress bar that will scroll across the screen while he's doing that. Um, the first time, nothing will happen because the system has no idea how he thinks about pull. Uh, but maintain that thought for the entire duration of the eight seconds. So one, two, three, go. Okay. So once we accept this, the cube is live. So let's see if Evan can actually try and imagine pulling. Oh, good job. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty really amazing. So we have a little bit of time available, so I'm going to ask Evan to do a really difficult task. And this one is difficult because it's all about being able to visualize something that doesn't exist in our physical world. And this is disappear. So what you want to do, at least with movement-based actions, we do that all the time, so you can visualize it. But with disappear, there's really no analogies. So Evan, what you want to do here is to imagine the cube slowly fading out, OK? Same sort of drill. So one, two, three. Okay, let's try that. Oh my goodness, this is too good. <laughs> let's try that again. Losing concentration. <laughs> <laughs> but we can see that it actually works, even though you can only hold it for a little bit of time. As I said, it's a very difficult um, process to imagine this. And the great thing about it is that the, we've only given the software one instance of how he thinks about disappear. Um, as, as there is a machine learning algorithm in this. Oh! <laughs> Thank you. Uh, that's all. <laughs> Good job. Good job. Thank you, Evan. You're a wonderful, wonderful <laughs> example of the technology.